Hello everyone and welcome to another video on my auto rigging Python script. Now last time we talked about this we had a lot of controls all clustered together and we only had the ability to make one set of each. What do I mean by that? Well one set of arms, one set of legs, one set of spines, heads, tails, etc. And that's very limiting especially if you have characters with you know multiple sets of each of those ligaments so if you have a character with six legs or four arms or three sets of eyes you know etc etc uh, that's really not good uh, if you don't have a way of doing that so what it ended up leading to is me scrapping this tool and coming up with a brand new version of it this is MARS the modular auto rigging system or MARS and what I've been doing is I've developed a system where I can create multiple sets of each type of system here. So we got the head and I can hit bone swap and that's a finished rig. I can have two spines, one bipedal and one quadrupedal. Okay, and I can update each of these freely. Uh, without destroying the other one as well as I can select where it says root here where it says spine group parent I can select that it brings up a little window on the side that has all of the spheres that I can parent this to which will eventually become bones and I can hit this guy over here and boom snap aligned right to the spot where I need him very cool so now I can move this guy up and this is the essentially the cog of the whole piece so with this tool I've been able to make some really crazy things. I've been able to make well humans of course but also um, you know dogs, you know four-legged animals in general and even stuff like this. This is something I whipped up last night just for the heck of it. Boop. This little alien creature guy. Four sets of eyes, two sets of arms, each with different or different uh, uh, pieces, uh, a long tail, a really, really long spine. You know, just, just I really, I really liked working on this guy, and uh, all of these pieces here still sync up with our setup. Anytime I close the window and refresh it, it will automatically sync the controls up, so I can automatically change any of these if I wanted to. For instance, if I wanted my first arm set to have no upper arm roll bones watch the main arms here bam gone kaput so I can bring that back if I wanted to boom they're right back and it doesn't affect any of the other ones so now it's much faster it doesn't take quite as long to refresh the entire rigging system you only are refreshing maybe a couple things really it's just whichever uh, whichever section here I happen to hit update for and all of the connections to the varying bones that's the only thing that's resetting each time but if I hit bone swap on this character it's gonna work regardless how cool is that so during this uh, little demonstration here, I wanted to show you a couple different uh, characters you can set up. For instance, if I set up something like this, I'm going to make a quadrupedal character. So I'll have two legs. Uh, first set of legs will have no butt, but all the roll bones. Second set will have all the roll bones as well. Um, I'm going to give each one of them the shoe because essentially what I'm going to do is make kind of like a brontosaurus. So I'll update that first set, I'll update the second set. And with the spine here, there's a cool thing that I added as well, which is anytime that there's a leg in the system, if I hit update spine, it's going to automatically realign that. Very cool. And that works even if it's bipedal as well. Boom. Very, very, very nice. And the other cool thing is, if I decide to attach the head to this and update the spine, oops, it'll align that as well. How how wicked is that? And even if I decide to, let's say, let's say I had the head, oops, 
let's say I had the head aligned to spine one instead of the very tip top here. Um, if I decide to reduce that number of vertebrae, it goes down with it, it goes up with it, does whatever it needs to. Very cool. Very cool. Um, let me grab this here, put that at spine nub. Um, I'm going to return that into a character like that. Uh, for the legs here, I'm going to add uh, for, for leg 2, leg 2 is going to go in the back, right about there. Leg 1 is going to go in the front. And we need a tail. We can't have a brontosaurus or any kind of dinosaur really without a tail. So let me put that right about here. And there's our setup. So now I can just... Uh, oh, I forgot one more thing. Uh, one more thing. So let me add like a really long tail like that. If I hit mirror selection, I no longer have to hit uh, these buttons here to mirror, rotate, or uh, translate the scale. So if I wanted to do something like that, I don't longer have to uh, use those buttons. Okay, and this that always really bugged me—the fact that I had to go back to those buttons all the time, just because of how how much longer it took. Uh, so now, with the magic of mirror selection, I can now select the left side of a set and bring the right side uh, along with the ride. So this will be the legs here. Bring that over here, bring this over here. Bring this along over here, bring this over here. And uh, I'm doing this really in honor of uh, Jurassic World, which by the way, you guys should absolutely see. It's a fantastic movie. Or at least I liked it. Um, oh yeah, if it's a Prontosaurus, we need some neck joints. So let's add about 10 bones there. I'm going to actually rotate this about 90 degrees. Rotate that up. Bring this down here. And there's our Brontosaurus. So if I hit Bone Swap, boom! Everything is automatically parented and correct. And now I can make another character. So, really quick, I'll just show you how crazy you can get this guy. So I have maybe a couple of sets here. Uh, maybe no nose and a couple of neck joints. Boop. Make a spine. I'll add about... Uh, let's go 10. I'll make him... Well, I, I guess I can make him kind of quadrupedal for a second. Because I'll, I'll, I'll curve up the spine. Um, I'll update my spine here. Let's move my legs over into the back. I'll move the head up. And let's make two sets of arms and a tail again. Now imagine how cool this is going to be once I finish the wing systems. The problem is with that is I have a couple of uh, different things to do. Essentially I have two different setups. I have one setup for um, for a wing or a bat wing and a second setup for the for essentially the oops. Uh, a feathered setup. Put that at three. I'll put this one at one. Right about there. And really quick before I, I get into this too far, one of the things I'd like to show you is uh, one of the things I worked out is uh, 
what would happen if I deleted the spines here. So one of the other cool things is you can either delete the whole temp rig or you can delete just pieces. Now if I delete the spine, what ends up happening is I set this up to where everything will automatically parent right back to the root. So if I delete this, boop, everything's back to the root, back to where it was before. So let me bring that back here. I'll refresh my settings here. And I'm going to turn on mirror select because this is getting kind of silly to do this just by myself without that help. Let me grab these guys. I'm going to rotate them up like that. Move this forward a bit. Good old extendable neck. Okay. Move this forward here. Oops. And I'll kind of soften this out a little bit by moving that piece forward. There we go. All right, so now we got our sets here uh, kind of established. Let's do uh, this here. I'll rotate those in. And I'm going to make kind of the same alien character that I had before. So something like this. Now set two here had two roll bones on each side and it's this one right here. So I'll hit this guy. There's our thumb, there's everything else. Um, I also didn't have a double elbow set up as well so I'll take away that. Now for the first group here Let's give it these, let's give them these. And I can just uh, come in like that. Scrunch that all together. Extend that out. Extend that out. Maybe circle this in. And I like having this kind of like dipping down almost like it's really really uh, claw like. So let's grab this guy here. Move this up. And the cool thing is, no matter where, what I decide to do with each of these segments here, if I take my arm set and get rid of the clavicle as well, then it will, oops, not that one. Yep, still aligns, still does everything correct. The other thing it'll also do is uh, when it comes time to make the bones, which gotta say I'm so glad I decided to work on that piece as well because the algorithm to make the bones is much simpler now but essentially it will parent everything correctly Okay, let's move those in. Let's move those down. Let's move this out. And I'll move this down. Move 
move this up maybe so it's a little more uh, outward more like it's on the abdomen and these guys will stretch out here hey that's a little too far <laughs> and I rotate that down and then all I have to do is just work on this piece so I'll make the knees come out oops scale these in bring these over here uh, legs I want these guys gone Boop. three toes perfect and I'll rotate this around here Whoop. a little too much let's bring this up and of course let's add the roll bones as well okay and in one two three we have a full-fledged character ready for uh, the bone making process boom done so that's essentially it uh, the next step is to finish the wings first of all but then to set up the control list and this tool will be ready for uh, public use fingers crossed ladies and gentlemen so uh, as always if you have any questions or any suggestions uh, let me know in the comments below or feel free to email me at cwilcoxon117 at gmail.com thank you again for watching this video and uh, I will see you in the next one guys take care